animal cell. Today we're gonna build a city. So first off, we're gonna need some kind of like barrier border like. And so that circle that always gonna represent our barrier. And then, oh, there's a thing called cell and it has membrane on the outside. But yeah, anyway, back to our city. Okay, so next thing we're gonna need some kind of like a central intelligence, like a government, some place where all the informations are stored. And in a cell, it's similar to a nucleus, that's the big red thing. Not the one in the middle, not the black part, the big red thing. And now our city, we're gonna need some kind of like a power supply. So our city can be powered up. So that would be like a mitochondria inside a cell. And the more mitochondria you have, the more energy you can get from your uh, cell. And then next, we're going to need something that is going to transport our stuff in and outside the city. It's kind of like a post office, truck delivery, or something like that. Inside the cell, it's called the Goji, and that's the thing on the far right. It looks kind of like a pancake folded on top of each other. So right now, we're going to do a quick review. So first, the membrane in the cell membrane. The word membrane is Latin for barrier. So the membrane is a barrier. Uh, allow you to control things that goes in and out. The nucleus, that's in the center, that's the big red thing, and that's the information. Energy provider. Alright, and that is our mitochondria. They're the one that produce the energy. Oh look, there's our city outline. Mm -hmm. And then, so the thing in the middle, that's the nucleus, and then that's the information. That's where all the information comes from. DNA and such. And then there's also the transportation. The Goji is responsible for the transportation. What it does is it makes sure things get modified, packaged, and in and out. It's also called a Goji apparatus, also called Goji bodies. It's, uh, it's science, yeah. So the Goji is mostly what I just call it. And then, oh look, here we have another city. And then there's a Goji. It looked like it's kind of just scribbled there. It's always near the outside of the cell. It's responsible for packaging stuff, so it does a lot of transportation stuff. It's sometimes it looks similar to the ER too. Okay, next we have our ribosomes. There are tiny little dots that floats around. And in the city, it's equivalent to like a store. So like a restaurant, clothes, or any kind of store that facilitate how a city survival. So it's the ribosome is like that. Make sure that, you know, you get your uh, stuff, food, and stuff. So there's two types. There's the free type ribosome that just floats around. And they're equivalent to your local stores. And they're the attached type. And they're attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. We can't see it here, but we're going to take a look diff uh, at a different point of view. Okay, we're moving to another city now, and then so there you see is the ER, and then a bunch of little red dots. Those are the ribosome, the stores that are attached to the ER. So technically, it's like a mall where all the stores are gathered in one place. It's like a mall or a plaza. So the ER is equivalent to a plaza in a city where everything is just gathered in one place versus the other one, the ribosome that's freely floating around. So we're going to get more into that later on. Next thing, you have your cities all built up and stuff. Now you're going to need some kind of security to protect your city. And then it's a recycling center. So it's called a lysosome. And it's responsible for protecting your city from invading bacteria. And it does a two job. The other job is to uh, break down stuff. And the word lice in lysosome, it's Latin for breaking down. So keep that in mind because later on we're going to see that word again very often. Okay, and that's pretty much it. A quick overview of the animal cell. We'll get into more detail later on. Time's up. I have some bad news and some very bad news. Well, give me the bad news first. The lab call with your test results. They said you have 24 hours to live. 24 hours? That's terrible. What could be worse? What's the very bad news? I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. So, how's your day? 